going on guys it's Jordan man coming at you with another video so in this video I'm going to be doing a little different um, it's going to be not necessarily outside of game hacking but it's still going to be within the same category and it's a pretty uh, it's, it's a pretty controversial topic I'd like to say um, whenever people are trying to start out with um, developing hacks or programming um, you know oftentimes they're always, you know, beginners, they're always asking for tutorials or, you know, some kind of resource that they could use to become pros. And, you know, most of those cases, they get um, recommended, you know, some kind of reference. They go on a forum or something and you see like a whole bunch of books or a whole bunch of, you know, different pages. And I don't really think that's a good way to learn um, whenever you're trying to learn something. I think you should choose... You, I think you should choose, you should set a goal for yourself for what you're trying to do. So like in my example, let's say I wanted to make some kind of speed hack, you know what I'm saying? So I would set a goal to try to research everything about speed hacking in games so that I could know, you know, get all the information that's necessary for me rather than just going out there and, um, now sometimes that's not always an option. Uh, it's not always you, you might not always find the information that teaches you exactly how to do that thing you might need to research other things but generally you know eventually you get there uh, some things are easier than others but um, that's basically what this video is about so to start off excuse me I'm just gonna um so there's a really popular site called unknowncheats.me alright and so I was on this site earlier, and for a lot of forums, you know, they have these advanced searches, but I just, you know, with me, I'm, I'm a really simple person, you know, and this is just, maybe it works, but this, you know, you know, I don't necessarily like using search engines provided by most sites, so I feel like a search engine should be simple. You know, and I just don't, me personally, I just don't like this um, layout for searching. Now, I love this site itself, you know, it's, there's a lot of content, a lot of knowledge on it, but it's just a personal preference. This is, this is just really outdated, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but the site has a lot of information. So, I basically just wanted to show you guys, um, teach you some advanced searching techniques um, for Google so that you could find basically any information that you need to on the internet. Um, now this, if you want to go advance, you know, into a, let's say black hat or white hat hacking, you know, whatever you're into, you could Google, um, you could look up Google hacking and that will give you some more information, um, on how to, uh, uh, you basically, you use Google to find certain sites that might be vulnerable. Um, they'll have certain vulnerabilities, you know, you I'm not even going to get into it in this video because that's not what it's for, but just look up Google Hacking if that's something that you might be interested in, and you'll have all the uh, information that you need. So, basically, unknowncheats.me, that's going to be the first example that I'm used, and so in Google, I'm not sure if it says it on this exact page. Okay, so Google has different query modifiers that you could use um, to alter your search engine results, basically, and these are all of them. And we're not going to go through every one, but we're going to just, you know, be going over a few and then, you know, what I think is useful and then you guys could kind of experiment with them. So, um, unknowncheats.me, the first query modifier that I'm going to try to use is site. And what that basically does, it limits all your search results to a specific site only. So, you see I type in unknowncheats.me, right? And I got a result for Twitter right here. I got another result for similar web. Now... Um, let's say I want to get rid of those. I just want to, you know, see unknown cheats. Then I could do site dot. Alright. Another thing with this, whenever you're using these queries, um, because people started using them as bots, so you know, Google would occasionally throw you a capture to make sure you're you're not a bot trying to just you know find a vulnerability on other sites by scanning for malicious queries that um, or not necessarily malicious queries, but terms that basically could lead you to find a site as vulnerable and give you access to that site um, through MySQL injection or what have you. 
So, like I said, that's for another video that I'm not discussing that in this video. So, as you can see, we've got 227,000 results just from this site alone, and which is really useful because, like I said, um, that means it has a lot of information. Um, in addition to using that site operator, you could also do, let's see, where is it? 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 Um, give me a second. Mm -mm. Okay. So if you want to find a, um, let's say you're, you want to search for a specific term, you know, I could, I could easily just type in like ESP and, you know, I see a bunch of different results for ESP, but, um, let's just keep going through and see what we see here. Okay, so you see I type in ESP, and you know this this, this specific thing here says you know no recoil, no spread, no you know aimbot. Um, let's go. I search this up, or you see like you know any work in aim or ESP. Um, you could use the quote to basically um, specify you know the query. Like let's say if you you mean you could find this would this little query. Here would find you know all the threads on unknown cheats with ESP in it, but let's say you wanted to find something specific, uh, you know you could you know aside from just any working or aimbot or ESP, you could type in rather than someone asking a question, you could type in um, ESP hack, or even better, you see how um, something that I like about unknown cheats, uh, see how they in brackets they kind of tell you the category. Of what that thread is for so you know this says release so I could do for example release ESP and so it's going to show all the results for every every um thread that was made as a release um a ESP hack for a certain game you know what I'm saying and you just go on the next page you could keep going through all right so that's that um another thing that you could do uh, let's say you're trying to find, you know, hacking tools or something like that. Let me get rid of that. What, I don't even know what I was searching here um, earlier. Some random ash stuff. But anyways. Um, it's annoying. Give me a second, YouTube. I have, like, OCD, so that shit bugging me out. Alright, fuck it. Anyways. Um, what I was saying, this is uh, another uh, query that I looked up earlier. So, um, um, let's say you wanted to find video. Let's say um, you wanted to see, you know, what type of tools that are popular, you know, that hackers use or that um, you know, that programmers use. Maybe you know, you want to find the top ten um, editors. Well. Normally, you know, you would just type, you know, top 10, for example, you type like, if you wanted to find some kind of um, IDE or something, you type in like top 10 IDE for programming or, you know, something like that. And there's probably not any videos. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's a few videos on it, but um, anyway, my point is you see this, this video here says top five, three, this says top four, this says top three. The point that I'm getting at is um, there's a few queries that we use here. So, of course, we already talked about the search query. Um, so, what this is saying is we're going to limit to YouTube.com. And in title, this in title phrase is basically saying that this is the title for the website. So, in the title of or in the title of that page. So, in the title of that page, we want the title of that page to say top 10. And this little operator here, these two dots. Um, that connects them that that basically is like the range operator and it's basically it's going to search every query that has anything between top 10 and up um, between 50 so it would find you know top you know top 10 top 11 top 12 top 15 top 20 top 30 etc so if for example if I want to type in like um, hacking tools with that and then just hit search and you know here we see top 10 best hacking tools um, let's try to change it to see if we could get, um, let's try to achieve 20. No, not, not, nothing too much for 20. Um, let's start with five. Okay. So as you can see, 
this one here, top seven, top five. You know, people generally, whenever they're doing videos, they normally say like top ten. You know, this normally or top five. It's normally not anything higher than that. But just to give you an example um, of what you could do using this. Um, another, the last one I wanted to talk about before I completed this video was just finding. Um, me personally, I don't like learning from books. I use information online, but if I ever do need to use a book, I'd use it to get a specific um, information on it. So I'll just do like a control F search and I'll, you know, read up about a certain chapter or something. I don't find it um, not a waste of time to read books, but it's time consuming. And um, a person like me, yeah, the way I uh, basically learned. Because I didn't want to have to start from scratch. Like I said, you know, you could just be going through resources. And um, I'm the type of person I like to learn material that I feel like I'm going to be using. Because if I'm not using something, if I learn something or I'm reading something, I'm going to forget it if I don't use it. So whenever I do try to learn something new, I try to relate it to a specific goal or something that I'm working on at the time. So that, you know, once I'm done with that project. Could always go back to it you know to use it as a reference or it just helps me learn better but like i said everyone's different so um yeah the queries that you basically do um you can basically just do index off and um let's say entitle index off slash and th this is a basically a great way to find directories and you could say hack pdf and so this would take you to you just click on this side here and as you can see, you just see a whole bunch of PDF files, probably books and all kind of stuff in here that, you know, um, probably won't find much on game hacking, but let's just see. Let's give it a shot. Um, let's see. We got this one, gamehacking.org. Uh, yeah, not too much on that, but you guys get the point. Um, oh. I put PDF. <clears throat> so there we go. Now we're getting some, you know, we got a game hacking that PDF book here that we could just load up. And yeah, man. So there you go. It's an easy way to find books, easy way to find resources if you ever need it. Um, I'll be linking all of this, these sites in the YouTube uh, description so that you guys could read more about it. And, um, figure out how to use the operators. If you'd like me to make more videos on using specific operators, then I don't mind. Just let me know in the comments. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share it, like it, and subscribe.